in today's video we're gonna talk about the eight dirtiest angles in Rainbow Six Siege so let's get started The first two angles are coming from Chalet. Now, this first angle was brought to the Siege community by the professional player called Noted. Uh, he went on this angle in a ranked match and got two kills right off the bat. Um, so if the objective is in the snowmobile garage, you can jump up here, be careful not to fall because if you fall down the stairs, you will most likely die. Uh, and all you have to do is align yourself there and just wait for the enemy to walk by. Now, anyone that has played Siege long enough knows that bandit tricking has become just very, very difficult thing to counter. Here is an easy way to counter it on Chalet when the objective is in the snowmobile room. These next two angles are to protect the upstairs bar, bomb site, or the piano room secure area site on Cafe Dostoevsky. So the first site is from the piano room to the hatch. So all you have to do is throw some impact nades here, make this small angle, and just wait for the enemy to open the hatch and you will have easy angles on the enemy. Keep in mind that if they do move back a bit, they will have an angle on you as well. So keeping that in mind, use this to your advantage. Now this angle is the dirtiest that I have ever seen because the enemy won't even know where the shots are coming from because they can't see you. But if you align your shots here and either have a valve cam right up on top of the red stairs or just listen for it, um, all you have to do is when the enemy is at the top of red stairs or holding the door on top of red stairs, just aim there, fire some shots down the range and you will 100% of the time get the kill. The next two angles are on the map bank. Now, these two angles do require you to bring an operator that has impact nades because you will need them to make these holes to get on top of the sledge as well as creating lines of sights. So for this first angle, all you have to do is make that hole, jump on top of the sledge, and when the objective is in the garage, people will most likely spawn in a parking lot and will try to rotate down this side. So all you have to do is wait, be patient, wait for them to pass by, pick them off one by one. This next angle is from the staff section onto the back stairs on bank. Now this angle can be used by the defenders and the attackers. Uh, so do keep that in mind, but all you have to do is make this line of sight with impact nades, look at the stairs and just wait for the enemy to come down and pick them off. The last two dirty angles are on border. Now the first one of which is in CCTV, looking at the spawn point in the south side of the map. Uh, whenever the objective is armory or it's uh, down in the tellers, this is a common rotation spot. So all you have to do is break those computers, melee this couple of times, and just wait.
Last but not least, we have the long shot. Now, for this angle to work, you do have to impactate these two spots. And then all you have to do is get up on top of the archives uh, cabinet, which we all know this is a common spot where everybody sits. Um, but all you have to do is jump on top of this. And this does take you to have good aim as well as good trigger finger. Uh, because you will see the enemy for a uh, split second. Um, but if you time it right, you can easily pick up some kills. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If this video helped you in any way, please leave a like. And let me know in the comment section down below if you are going to try these out in your next game. I'm also live every weekday on Twitch at Copad1. So if you want to come hang out and come check out the action live, come join me there. And I want to say a special thanks to my friend Arkham for helping me record this. And that's it for me for this video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.